can't come in this building with that hat on. Jada, Jada, who you want? Come here, Aaron. Come on, Miss Lady, Miss Thing, you with the tank top. Take it off and keep it off. Take it off. So you're choosing not to do what I'm asking you to do. So detention. All right, step to the side. So. What's up? Why, like, why are you not wearing a shirt? This is a shirt. What you call it? So your belly button is showing. Okay. And your shoulders are. Okay. What's wrong with my shoulders? Are you trying to give off a representation of like, like open what? for business? How? What? Learning? Yeah. Put something over. You have a coat or something. Hey. So you're choosing not to listen to what I'm saying. Because you're not saying I'm coming here to learn and you're talking about shoulders. That's Go like with your friend. Detention. Weird. Detention. You, Miss Lady, can go. Well, I got a scarf in my hand. I got a slack. I can see. Right. I have but, if he can't, but if he can't wear a hat and a durag. A scarf and a durag are two different things and it has a different representation of you. Your scarf being on your head. This could be a scarf that represents the gang. You don't know what I do outside of school. No gang is wearing that scarf. You don't know that. <laughs> okay, young lady, why are you being so defiant? Do you want me to call your grandma? No. I see you. You didn't see that. Talking to these girls, letting them send you off. Everybody ain't like you, Jay. I'm gonna have to tell your dad. Something's funny. Maybe you could laugh about it in detention. Go with that. I don't know why I'm in style. I'm only dressing how I'm dressing like the way I like. I go to school for education. I don't come here just to style to myself. I'm a girl, like I don't, I don't care if I come out the house with my scarf and my slats on. I want to come to school to be comfy. I don't come to school for a fashion show. Every day I get bullied. And he stopped me for a hat. A freaking hat. Hi, my name is Erin, and we're, I'm doing an interview with Fatima Gennaro on dress code at South Shore International. Fatima, can you define dress code at South Shore? Dress code at South Shore, they set a dress code that they don't really follow, so I guess South Shore's dress code is no crop tops, no hats, no do rags, no flip flops, no reveal, no clothes that are too revealing. Okay, since you spoke on revealing, um, do you feel like the dress code at South Shore is targeted at curvy younger females, or could it be for both petite and curvy women? I feel like it's for both because either way, it's still revealing. Do you feel like dress code is targeted at males or females? Um. More? I feel like it's targeted at both, but it depends on what they're, what you're being targeted for. Because like males here, they're told to take their do rags off and hats off, while if a female is wearing it, they can keep their scarves on, they can keep their hats on. So. Do you feel as dress code has affected more on females or males? And can you explain? I mean, I've seen it happen before to you and Amber. Like, y'all both had on a hat, but the security guard told you to take your hat off and not her. So I feel like, I mean, both genders come with open toed shoes, but I mean, only females wear like belly shirts and stuff. So, I mean, it might happen to females more, but I've seen it happen to both genders. So I think, I mean, it weighs the same on both sides. So basically, Tamara, I want you to describe the dress code at South Shore International. Um, basically, we break all the rules. Like we wear slides, we wear tank tops, we show our bodies in the <clears throat> What is the dress code at South Shore? 
No wearing do rags, no hats, no wearing slides or showing our body. Why do you think we have a dress code? Because people go overboard with it like once we get the privilege, then they think like, oh, okay, so I'm just gonna do this. So they take it away. Have you ever been dress coded at South Shore? No. Have you been around anyone that has been dress coded? Yes. Can you like talk about the experience? Oh, we was going to the reflection hall and my friend, she had a shirt, a tank top. Well, not a tank top, like a crop top shirt. And then Hank said she couldn't come to the reflection hall because her stomach was shot. Um, do you feel like clothing defines you? No. Why do you say that? Because I feel like if I wear a shirt that's above my belly button, I shouldn't be called um, yes. I shouldn't be called a slut or any word of that sort. I should be able to be comfortable with my own body and not be body shamed or any type of way of what I'm wearing. Do you feel like clothing defines who you are? I mean, the way you dress describes like how you feel about yourself. But like towards other people, like you wear something that they don't think look right, you might be labeled as like or, or they don't like it but like how I dress define who I am like the stuff I wear that's how I like to dress so yeah I think clothing makes me who I am but I, I don't know if that's other people they define me the same way I define myself Hi, my name is Isaiah Robinson, and this site is about what you see and what you don't see about us as individuals. The reason why I wore cream today is because I want to dress bright, and I'm going to my grandma's house, and I just want to look nice. Thank you. My name is Jamar Harris. Um, my thing about me, out of my earring, is representing um, Muslims, you know. And I just like the way the earring look. The crescent in, it's a crescent in the five point stop. And it represent my religion. Um, Have you ever misjudged the person on how they look? <laughs> a lot of times. I misjudge a lot of people by the way they look. Everybody looks different than who they are. There's nobody you could say, hey, he looks like a terrible guy and he's gonna be a terrible guy, he's not. No, I don't judge people on how they look. Because people might judge me on how I look. <laughs>